Want to know what is a mart and how it works? Well, in this video, I'm giving you details and examples on how it works and what it does really in an emergency situation. Hey there, skydivers! It's Catherine Bernier from Skydive Vibes, sharing the passion of skydiving and helping you become better and safer skydivers. So if you're new here, well, consider subscribing not to miss our weekly videos all about skydiving. Before we start, anytime during the video, you can check down in the description for links and show notes about what we're gonna talk about right now. First, the main question is, what is a MARD system? Well, MARD stands for Main Assisted Reserve Deployment. So basically, it's a system using the main canopy to help the reserve deployment. So before diving into more of the details on how it works, we need to, of course, talk about the RSL system. RSL stands for Reserve Static Line, and it's also a system that helps the reserve deployment, but in another way. So the RSL is a piece of lanyard of about a foot long. And what it does? Well, it's attached to your main canopy risers, and the other extremity is either attached to your reserve pin or attached to the reserve rip cord, which is the cord attached to the reserve pin. So the main goal of it is when you have a cutaway, as your main is going away, well, it will actually activate the RSL and the RSL will pull your reserve pin. That way, if you're not able to reach your reserve handle, your reserve canopy will still deploy. But at that point, once the reserve pin is out, well, the main canopy is no longer attached to you. So for the rest of the reserve deployment, it's done by itself. Now, when we talk about the MARD system, so the MARD system is basically like an upgraded RSL where you still have that system that pulls the reserve pin, but the MARD system is still attached to the reserve free bag. So that means that as your main is going away, it pulls on the reserve free bag to help deploy it. So that way your main canopy acts like a big pilot chute to extract your reserve canopy. The main goal of using the MARD system is to get faster reserve deployment. So this leads to the question on how quick can a MARD system deploy a reserve canopy compared to a normal system. Well, UPT, the maker of the well-known MARD system called the Skyhook, claimed that the MARD system can deploy the reserve canopy in 0.5 seconds, which is four to five times quicker than by using the reserve pilot chute alone. Overall, you can expect a MARD system to save you 50 to 100 feet of altitude compared to a more standard RSL system. Of course, the speed of deployment also have other variables like the speed of the malfunction, the type of reserve canopy, the air density, and much more. Now, talking of Skyhook, a lot of jumpers are calling generically MARD system Skyhook. But in fact, just as Kleenex is a brand of facial tissue, well, Skyhook is actually one brand of MARD system. Since it was one of the first MARD system on the market, people started to use the term Skyhook as a generic term. But keep in mind that it's simply a brand. And since then, many manufacturers have developed their own MARD system, just like Rigging Innovations with their new Mojo MARD. Now, that being out of the way, let me show you an example of how a MARD system works. And we're gonna take the example of the Mojo MARD from Rigging Innovations. And I'm here today with Sandy from Rigging Innovations, and he's gonna talk to us about his new MARD system, which is pretty innovative in my opinion. So Sandy, how are you doing? I am doing great, thanks. So can you introduce us to your new MARD system? Okay. This is our little miniature version we have for our dealers. So it has the pilot chute, the release, and the bag. So what we have, if the bag is in the container, and this is now, you've cut away your canopy, and it lifts it off, so it has, it's going like this, and here's the, the, uh, the bag. So now, this is where you want it to hold together. This is what I was talking about. You want the reliability that it stays in there. If you have a total, say you, have, you can't reach your handle or your VOC or whatever, and you're going down to AED altitude when the AED fires, the specification for testing says you cannot interfere with the normal operation of the reserve, which means pull the handle, 
container opens, pot of sheet comes out, lifts the bag off, and everything works. What has to happen though, with any kind of a MARD system, the connection at the, the release mechanism, whatever that may be, has to release very easily because now, when you have that going up, this is going to be tacked down as the pilot chute's going out and it loads, then it releases at that point. So that's the critical part. And in, re in reality, that's the most important part. The, the secret to this is this pin that we have on right here, our mojo. And if we pull this out, you'll find that this little metal pin has a hinge in it. And this is the key to everything. So you might call it the mojo. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we'll just hold that on feel. This is when you have the cutaway. Yep. It's nice and firm, but now if this is in the container and the pilot chute is going to work, so you put the bag and just yep. hold that. So when you take it, boom, it works. And that's how this particular item works. Next, since a MARD system starts with an RSL, well, keep in mind that you can actually disconnect your MARD system by disconnecting your RSL. So in some cases, it's recommended to disconnect your RSL to make sure that if something happens, you have the time to get rid of your main canopy before initiating the deployment of your reserve canopy. It's surprising that many jumpers are not aware that by disconnecting their RSL, they are in fact disconnecting their MARD system. So that's something you might want to keep in mind. If you're disconnecting your RSL, you're disconnecting your MARD and it won't help you to get a faster reserve deployment. I must also say, just like you saw in the example of how the Mojo Mard works, well, if you don't actually need the Mard system or if your main canopy hasn't been deployed, well, the Mard system is made to not interfere with a standard reserve deployment using your handle or with an AD fire. This is an important part of the Mard system because there are some situations where the main canopy is not out. Lastly, even though you have a MARD system or other safety system, just like an AD, never rely on a piece of equipment to save your life. So having that technology doesn't mean that you can lower your decision altitude or rely on those systems to pull out your reserve canopy. So respecting your pull altitude, your decision altitude, and also the fact that you're using both of the handle during an emergency situation is still very important. Now leave a comment if you have any question on the MARD system or if you have any other questions that could be worth doing a video on. I love reading all the comments and I also like when you guys leave video ideas down below. If you want to watch other videos from Skydive Vibes, simply click here. And on that, as always, keep jumping, stay safe and blue skies.